Welcome to the channel, Ajayden Sheets, and these are some of the top stories making headlines today. No nation, there are disturbing reports that while the security forces were carrying out an operation, it led to a shootout at a primary school during graduation. Now, I'm going to hear from the disgruntled parents that were there who feared for the lives of their youth. Now, nation, I'm going to see the footage, and then we're going to do it. We're going to continue the reason. Of course, I'm going to look and I'm going to listen. Jamaican people, St. Andrew Primary School radiation. Police coming here and a fire. Be a gunshot off a gunman. We pick the if the pity fire come and radiation and the pity fire a gunman. Oh no, we tell him come out. Oh no, could come a fire gunshot in a radiation. Andrew Wallis, that's what I can say. I can see to answer this. In a radiation. Yes, no nation, the Clarendon murder accused Russian Barnett has accused law enforcement of bodily harm while in their care. Now, as we speak, Barnett is to undergo psychiatric evaluation, meaning, say, the man check for see if he's mentally fit to stand trial. No. And there will be enough evidence to gather to either ascertain whether he was in the right frame of mind when committing the act. And if he's in the right frame of mind, no. Now, it will also, based on the accusations and allegations made, check to see if bodily harm was indeed inflicted while in lockup. Truth be told, law enforcement smarter than that. So, him say, bodily harm was caused and, you know, pain in him back. Law enforcement smarter than that. And the fact that he was not placed in general housing. Some have said that they think his claims are fictional. Truth is, the situation is a situation where the fact that the death penalty is being sought by the prosecutors and the fact that Jamaicans, a large portion, is in support and saying that this should be a verdict sought by prosecution in other cases. Now, of course, Jamaica for Justice has stated that they are against the death penalty, capital punishment for the murder accused. Not saying that he should not be sentenced for his crimes when convicted. But just as lobby groups in North America, Canada, and other countries across the world, they are saying that the death penalty Capital punishment is an ancient form of justice and has no place in this day and age. But with crime and violence at the level that it is across the world, there are people who are saying that maybe this is not true. The problem is, though, the judicial system. Remember, for one, if there are indeed cases which people can point to and say, look, a criminal escaped conviction then there must be indeed situations where individuals were convicted wrongfully and with that being said think about a verdict like the death penalty and if that was unlawfully given or given to the wrong person now there's also the legal aspect which is if a, convict, uh, a sentence of capital punishment is given, but it takes over five years for the state to carry out that sentence, and that sentence is appealed by the convict, then it will become unconstitutional. And these are the legal obstacles, and why, for a number of years now, despite horrific crimes that we have heard about or seen on headlines, there has not been an individual who has been given that sentence, nor has that been sought 
by the prosecutors knowing that if an individual appeals then barnett's case though is different the issue with barnett's case and i think a convict can just choose for ask i think even the legal aid can choose for file the appeal fee but his family has provided him with no legal counsel to date and that is why he was given legal aid and as stated in the previous video remember his family is now the ones who would have to go pay for an attorney you know the thing go in jamaica and the jamaican island first and foremost they will call family members overseas and say well you know russian is in some trouble and he need money to get legal counsel now by now majority of the family members overseas already know what kind of trouble that is and what he is accused of then when both the court and the family member think about his history his documented history that in the wound him own father in similar fashion the mother say he have a history of this level of violence we don't say any good outcomes we feel this is a young youth we're not only dash a theme life but take the life five people in blood relatives even in young blood relatives but i understand but so why them said him get him a check out because if him chip never lick when him commit the act the thought of where him do supposed to lick him chip by no i hear people are talking about that as a defense true be told legal aids are not the best type of representation especially if you have a major case like this these are lawyers that would say that they are overworked and underpaid in a department that is understaffed but people are saying that if he's found to be incompetent medically and unfit to stand trial what will be the outcome it is hard to say him can be confined to a medical institution it's just something where criminal defense attorneys overseas have used these types of defenses in cases however this seemed to be a case to look upon the fact that Kamisha the victim stated as you say the accused sharpening a weapon it's premeditated and if they might even say you know something happened to him mind at that moment and him snap it would happen at that moment the fact say him snap and wait hours before him commit him act them say between the hours of 12 to 1 a.m. when everybody are asleep. People are say are evil and are mad. People are say are wicked and are mad. Talk to me. Tell me how you feel. As I say, quick recap. It has been alleged and accused by parents at a graduation that law enforcement, while carrying out an operation, had a live shootout at a primary school educational institution. The Clarendon murder accused is also accusing law enforcement of causing bodily harm to him while in their care. The serious and he has now been authorized and given the go ahead by the court to do a medical examination. So we're gonna see what the outcome of that as I would say it is based to it is based on his psyche to evaluate whether he is competent and fit to stand trial. But the fact that accusations were made right before this occurred, of course, they may go check for that too as well. And that will be added to his file. Law enforcement smarter than that. If you're new to the channel, it's a pass room where you click the subscribe icon, then the bell icon, and of course, put it up on all. And this is how you know you'll be notified of all fresh content as soon as fresh content is uploaded and made available for you right here on the platform. The like icon is also in close proximity to the share icon. Drop a like and bust a share. Tell a friend, tell a friend, tell them sister and them brother them for check out the channel, check out the reasoning. Join the discussion in the comment section on 24 7. It never lucky yet. Just be respectful and mindful of the guidelines. But other than that, drop your thoughts, your comments, and yes, your opinions there. And we can continue the reasoning via the comment section. Until the reason again, my sentiments for you and yours, of course, for to live, love, and prosper. And for to stay tuned. Until the reason again.